वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर टेन फ्रैक्शन सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फ्रैक्शन नाउ पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर अ फ्रैक्शन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ होल इट रिप्रेजेंट वन और मोर इक्वल पार्ट्स ऑफ अ होल ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर यर नेक्स्ट दे आर रिटर्न एज वन अपॉन टू टू अपॉन थ्री वन अपॉन फाइव एंड सो ऑन नेक्स्ट द नंबर रिटर्न अब द लाइन दैट इज बार इज कॉल्ड न्यूमरेटर एग्जाम्पल वन अपॉन टू वन इज अ न्यूमरेटर नेक्स्ट द नंबर रिटर्न बिलो द लाइन दैट इज अ बार इज कॉल्ड डिनोमिनेटर एग्जाम्पल वन अपॉन टू टू इज अ डिनोमिनेटर ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ the meaning of fraction reading and writing fraction half one bakri has to be divided equally between two people when it is divided into two equal parts each of the part is one half of the whole bakri so you can see in this picture that whole bakri is there and when you divide the whole bakri into half that is one half means the whole bakri is divided into two parts so one half of the whole is shown by the fraction 1 upon 2 in the fraction the number written above the line is the numerator and the number written below the line is the denominator in the fraction 1 upon 2 the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 2 1 upon 2 is read as 1 half or 1 upon 2 understood student now next about the quarters in the figure an object is divided into four equal parts you can see in the picture here one object it is divided into four equal parts each of those parts is a quarter of the whole one quarter is shown by the fraction 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 is read as 1/4 or 1 quarter or 1 upon 4 understood students now next three quarters three children bought a cake and asked their grandfather to divide it equally among the four of them including himself grandfather divided the cake into four equal pieces each piece is one quarter of the cake grandfather gave raju rani and pinky one quarter each and kept the last quarter for himself grandfather gave his two granddaughters quarter plus quarter that is half of the cake he gave his three grandchildren quarter plus quarter plus quarter that is three quarters of the cake one half and one quarter also make Three quarters of the whole. Okay, student, understood. You can see in the picture, no. What happened? One cake is there, and the children told grandfather to divide into four, including the grandfather also. So he divided, and what he gave one quarter to the granddaughters, no. Means two are there. Quarter plus quarter, half. Half plus one quarter means three quarter. Okay, student. When an object is divided into four equal parts. Three of its parts taken together are called three quarters. This is shown by the fraction three upon four. Three upon four is read as three fourths or three upon four. Now next, some more fractions. Here, a circular disc is divided into five equal parts, and three of its parts are colored. You can see in the picture. Total disc. You can see in the picture the disc is divided into five parts and only three parts are colored. The colored part of the disc is shown as three upon five, means one upon five plus one upon five plus one upon five together makes three upon five. Okay, student. When an object is divided into five equal parts and three of them are taken. That part is shown as three upon five. 
so here the denominator is 5 and it shows how many equal parts are made of the whole and the numerator 3 shows how many of those are taken understood students now next different meanings of fractions now see in the picture here Amita was given two parts out of the three equal parts of a bhakari. You can see here, a bhakari is there and it is divided into three parts. And from these three parts, two parts were given to Amita. This means Amita was given two upon three of one bhakari. Okay, student. Now, one next, two bhakaris of the same size as Amita have to be divided equally between three girls. Sadhana. Anushka and Preeti. Now what happened here? Two bhakaris are there. How Amita is having bhakari in the same way? Two same size bhakaris are there. And that two bhakaris you have to divide it into three friends. The two bhakaris were divided into three equal parts each. One part of each bhakari was given to Sadhana, Anushka and Preeti. You can see here. From two bhakari, one part is given to Sadhana. 1 to Anushka and 1 to Priti. Okay. Now Sadhana share 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Anushka share 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. And Priti share that also 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. Means what? Each girl was given a one third part twice. Yes. 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 means two times. No. That is twice. That is each got 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. That is what? 2 upon 3, no? 1 plus 1, 2. 2 upon 3. However, Amita's share and that of each of the other three girls is the same. Now, here Amita, how much she got? 2 upon 3. And now, Anushka, Sadhana and Priti, they also got what? 2 upon 3. Means both the, both this. Anushka also, Sadhana also, Priti also and Amita also. All, they got the same share. 2 upon 3, yes. Note that when two bhakaris are divided between three girls, each girl gets 2 upon 3 bhakaris. Yes, now these two bhakaris are divided into three girls. Then all the three girls will get the same, that is 2 upon 3. Understood, no student? It means that 2 upon 3 can be explained in three different ways. This 2 upon 3, how you are going to explain? It can be explained in... Three different ways. Now look here. First, two parts out of three equal parts of an object. Okay. Two parts are there. And that two parts you are going to divide into three girls. Okay. Next, one third twice. Which means one upon three plus one upon three. Which also means two multiplied by one upon three. Or two times one upon three. Understood? One upon three plus one upon three. Two upon three. No. So, multiplication 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3. So, what you will get your answer? 2 upon 3 only. Understood? Now, next. Equal division of two objects between three people. Equal division of two objects between three people means two objects are given and that two objects you are going to divide by, divide into three people. Okay, student. Understood? So, today in fraction what we have learned about quarters, half, Three quarters and then some more fraction, different meaning of a fraction. In the next section, we will learn more about the mixed fraction. Okay, I hope you have understood this lesson. Thank you.